The thing, what, it cro hang on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a cross out here? Whoa, oh, on the map. Ah, I was like, they don't have a cross because the cross is a completely different symbology than the one that they're using. But, oh, uh, ho, ho, I see. The game devs are sneaky and they put a cross in right there. They're like, yo, so it's not it's not the same, like, religion, philosophical thing at all, but we're going to put a cross here. Yo! Any progress on that matter we discussed? No, but we have a more... Uh, oh, Miss Holcomb. Wh 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 how rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to... Those that yeah, 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 I'll show you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. Haven't found your book yet. Please, get it. Okay, calm down. Uh, of course, but I had something I wanted to ask you. What would you like to discuss? Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk ha -ha, to him. Haha, nope. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Murder people! Cut the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Mm, so what do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. What do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. <sighs> Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters. I mean, to that makes the, the most fort. sense to save the most people. Just talk everybody in. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. Uh. Okay. Well, that didn't, that did not, that did not enlighten me at all. Unless there's a way I can, like, get these guys, unless I can get Edgewater to, like, let, I don't know, unions form and worker rights to be a thing. And then, and then bring people back into the Edgewater fold. Maybe that'll work. Oh, hang on. How do I? There's my character. We spent a while on her. I think she looks pretty dope. Oh man, well now I'm I'm kind of concerned. I'm really hoping that the stream isn't actually having like terrible problems because if it is, I won't be able to use it for YouTube, which would suck. I mean, it doesn't like suck a lot. I was just kind of hoping to use it for YouTube, but if I don't get to, that's fine. Very edgy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sucker for the white hair, white eyes thing. And then, I don't know, I thought, I, I really liked the way her face was. So we just made a couple of tweaks and... Tosser's blocker. Oh my gosh, I may not be able to use this for YouTube. That's okay. If it happens, it happens. Okay, but first things first, we got to... Um... Uh, journal. Let's try, um, um, she works as a supervisor, Abernathy's at home, Ludwig is stationed as a guard. Okay, so she's in the cannery. Wait, I guess I can, I can, oops, I can select it. Uh, 
Can I go? Oh, I can. I can. Hello, hello, hello. Paper, paper, paper. Nope. <gasps> Thank you, Frog Raider. We're glad that you're here in 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 maybe not in typing range, but in fun range. You the new worker? Uh, Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. No, um, I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Okay, bye. Hang on. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Is there an op? Oh, these are bugs. I don't know what good these are. But I'm taking them. Do you have an office here I can, like, look at? Oh, yeah. Office, office, office. <laughs> Messages. From Thompson. Oh, and Phyllis was the one who wanted to, um, do the gold tooth thing. Um... Why am I putting it in my pocket? What? Oh, the thing. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta sometimes. Medical treatment. Owing to your hard work and positive, uh, positive attitude, I sanctioned your access to medical treatment. Uh, I wish I could treat every medical member, but I can't. Just don't distribute your ration of medication to anybody else. Uh, I did it. I hacked. Password tenderfoot. Password accepted. Personnel files. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me to report his death in our quarterly. Sounds fair to me. He was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work. Show up. Wear a smile. And you'll get your medical privilege. It's a start. Oh, so now we have something we can blackmail her on. Not only the, um, the gold tooth thing, but the fact that she's not writing Theodore in properly in the quarterlies. La 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 la. Hey, what up? What's on your mind? Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take oh. the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That you have to pay your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. But he shot himself. But he shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Oh, good! And Parvati did mention, oh, that they're putting other things other than fish in the cans. Oh, must be a tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body. Oh! The I'm the one who found him, you see. So I pay the fine. Okay, that's weird. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Oh, yep, yeah, this is just... You, you, yep. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. Okay. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Bye. Okay, that was easy. I didn't need to blackmail her at all. Um, 
see. Is this a house I did not enter? Oh my goodness. I have been lax in my duties. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Hmm. Hmm. I smell a lie. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> that's old Abernathy. Oh, my gosh. And that's why, there, yeah, there was no receptionist when I came in. Yep. You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Alienist? Walking into a man's alienist. room, domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Um, Martin Abernathy? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Ah, uh, what? Uh, 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 no what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the sky. Oh my gosh! Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Okay. Why do you think I'm a freelancer? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. I'm mean curious. I wasn't trying to insult you. Why would I be insulted? Or it's just you ain't one of us. A spacer, I mean. Stands to reason you got no company looking after you. Not your fault, though. Even freelancers gotta eat. And if that means they must scratch some bits out of odd jobs, who am I to judge them? At least you're not a deserter. Uh, I guess that's fair. So does that mean you're for hire? I could use the help if you could use the work. Oh no, Frog Raider! You killed the people standing by the ship that you're supposed to talk to? Oh no! It's kind of hard. It, well, I, I, I usually when I pan over them, it'll tell me what they are. Because they're all wearing, like, face masks, so I can't tell. Uh, how can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I've got questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just buy the medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with adrenatine. No, that's not... Didn't do much for no, me. No, that's not medicine. I tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. What? The company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Oh my gosh. I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. What can you tell me about marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Okay. So you'll do it sure, then? Sure, buddy. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. It's in my spleen! Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken Archives? Over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. 
taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. All right. What? What? That means you level up too. Oh boy. Um. Whoa. Oh, sure. Um, hacking and stuff's good. Uh, heal. Plasma damage. Uh. Oh, this is, um, a companion thing, so I'll put some points into that. Someday I'll get a long, a big gun. And, uh, might as well just, uh, oops. And... Alright, I'm just spreading it fairly even right now, because I don't freaking know. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Can I help you? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine. Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. Should've closed the door! I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off Oh, is that what it is? Oh! He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, a. Uh, He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. All right. <laughs> Here's a Easy. summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. And you need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Something like that. Look. I'm not in the habit of law-breaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Think about it. That's all I can ask of you. I don't know if I trust her, though, to not just take it and sell it, whereas he actually does need the medicine. I think she's saying that she wants to use it to save, like, a multiple people, whereas he, like, it, it's like saving more people or just saving one person, you know? Multiples of 20? Okay, let me see where I'm... Uh, I assume that the six, like the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the adjusted scale value. Okay. So long guns are nearly there. Okay. I assume that the 20 only counts for the base value and not the adjusted value. Determination's getting there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So many tasks. I am excited for that one. Okay. It's a companion quest! That's cheating! That's cheating, game. You just spoiled it. You just spoiled it. Okay. Let's go get these credits. Or this, um, whatever. Words. Let's go get this last gravesite bundle. The loading screens are kind of long. I don't know if it's just, again, I keep selling, I keep saying that I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima, but, like, the load screens on that game are actually insane. Like, the game is so well optimized. Like, there's, the load screens are almost, they're negligible. Like, it's very, very, like, short. Like, it takes, like, a couple seconds to get into the game. 
And then you're like, woo, you know? Oh, okay, it's giving me... Whoops. I didn't realize there was more town outside. So you can be safe inside the walls, but you can also be outside here. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. You're adorable. Oh, hi. Whoa. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Mm. Uh, are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lava. Whoa, jeez. I, I, you gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto. Auto. <laughs> Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. Malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, ah! clattering about, ah! firing at the fire birds, and brimstone, orchestrating their. Uprising. Oh, jeez. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Not <laughs> Silas and me, you own grave night fees. Uh, if your resistance needs another gun, I am for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Oh boy. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacer's chaw, few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Ah, I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad. A bit cartridge, nice. Uh, what do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just Companion. behind our beloved town. Companion! This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report I'm back. Compa is it a companion? I'm, I'm, you can you can tell me if it is or not. It might just be an actual mechanical scout. I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsection. Weak spot? I think spot. the technical term is um, the blue glowy square. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, question. Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me, I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total. Talk about cobwebs in the upper attic. The robot or the lunatic? The robot. The robot. I'm. I. I. I, I assume any robot in my vicinity is a potential companion. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Between he actually kind of looks like um. Shoot, what's his name from Mass Effect? One of the DLC companions? The old, um, the mercenary? Whose name is on the tip of my tongue? Blah, 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 blah. Bye. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta search your, 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 your abode. <gasps> oh, he's right here. Oh no, she's right here. Dope. Um. Alright, I don't, uh, nope. Okay, I don't have any. I don't have anything to 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 blackmail him with. Bring us honor, soldier. Soldier, how come a transportation guy gets a gun? I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Ah, I see. Guess this means he's finally heard the call. Yes, Zaid. He looks like Zaid. Uh, yeah, he sure did. He's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Yeah, I've been saving Oh, I thought this was part of the... Oh, no. Uh, I think I just stole from him. I thought that was going to be part of the grave thing, but it's not... I don't think it was. I think that was just me, like, extorting him. 
Oh, I'm a terrible person. I'm a mo I'm an actual monster. I can hear them. They're little bugs. They're not hostile, though, so I don't bother them. I think this will be our first side quest. Dang, what's that? Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this lady. I'm a lady here. <laughs> Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. What are you talking about? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Uh, uh, we needed to talk about, uh, we don't, why do we need to talk about Eugene? Um, I, I guess we can try. Yeah? What about him? Uh, Eugene, oh yeah, I read a letter from Phyllis, she mentioned digging him up for his gold tea. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Gone! Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that oh, Eugene was stolen by marauders. Oh, ah. Or he rose from the dead. Or he rose from the dead. I love the way he said that. Uh, I guess I'll keep an eye out for them then. Let me know if you find anything. Uh, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? No. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Ha ha, give me credits. Something for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Uh, question? Yeah. Um, have you heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found Yeah, yeah, again. that one. No reason. Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. A stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Uh, let's change the subject. Something I can do for you? Bye. I feel like it, it's not a good idea for me to, uh... Your reputation isn't kill on sight. If the reputations are hostile, Oh, I see, I see. Okay, good, good, good. So, I should probably go now. I do have to get ready for work tomorrow, unfortunately. I think I've gotten most everything done that I need to get done, but... Can I... what? Okay, it just saves super fast. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, so I'll be heading out for work tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for chilling. I'll try to fix some of the stream issues when I get back next time. Um, but thanks for, like, hanging out while I play a new game. This one looks fun. I really, I'm really enjoying it so far. It is actually really hilarious, so... Yeah! I'll see you guys next week, but stay safe and wash your hands, and I'll see you guys next time.